Woo! Hello and welcome back to another Up To Summit video. Happy New Year. It's finally my first video of 2024. And today we are out in the Lake District, if you can't already tell. And if Adam turns around kindly, we're gonna go up there, you can't quite see it, but we're going up to Cat Bells, and I'm gonna head over to Maiden Moor and High Spice. Wow, peaceful, really peaceful. Bit of a pull up here, but we're just heading up to the summit of Cat Bells, the smallest of the three Wayne rights that we're going to do today. And Lewis is definitely struggling, <laughs> and we've got a fair way to go, so we'll have to see how he goes. But if you're a regular of the channel, you know that Lewis hasn't done a mountain in a while, so he's probably going to struggle. In the distance over there, you can see there is a bit of snow on the mountains, and you never know, we might be in store for a bit of that once we got to Maiden Moor and High Spy, so we'll just have to see how we go. So there you go, we've just absolutely steamed up there. We've left Lewis, we're gonna go tick off Cat Bells. He's gonna wait for us here. The day is starting to break up a little bit, which is nice, because I thought it was just gonna be that kind of gray cloud, which is never, it's not the best really, but if we get a bit of blue sky, that'd be nice. So we were going to start from that car park right down there, but unfortunately we're busy, so we've had to start the other side, and I'm going to drop off the left hand side as opposed to the right hand side. So that's Cat Bell's completed. Let's go up to Maiden Moor. Let's go! <laughs> off we go, Maiden Moor. Here we go, we're at the bottom of Maiden Moor now. And I went to do this before once, about two years ago. We came up from that side, we walked up to Cat Bells, and then we looked over to Maiden Moor, and the cloud just completely covered it. So we decided to bail on that day. But today is the day I come back and I do it. If Lewis can make it, that is. <laughs> He's not going too well, is he? Especially in such a lovely location. Get out, have the sun on your face, and have views like that. Cannot beat it. How's Please. it going, Am? I'm getting blinded. Blinded? Yeah. How are you feeling? Alright. <laughs> <laughs> Great interview! So, all things considered, it's not too far to go, really. So, I'm not 
exactly sure if we've done Maiden Moor yet. Somewhere up here is Maiden Moor. I think we're a bit, it might be there or it might be just up there. But we've effectively we've done Maiden Moor. So on to Hyde by now, the final peak. Final push to go up to High Spy. You can just see the truth point in the distance. It's quite a big one. So we just found this little tarn, or not really a tarn, pond. And look how thick this ice is here. Look at that. A good two, maybe three inches thick. Just goes how cold it is up here. walk with that nice and steady really enjoyable this dusting light dusting of snow has just oh. added to the walk but it's so much better especially with the sun being on it for most of the walk it's been really nice now we've just got to find the way down somehow so i don't know how we're going to find the way down because this was not our planned route so Right inside of that, I don't know. Go on, get down there. Do you fancy it? The hell? I don't know. It looks bigger now, doesn't it? Yeah. Do you fancy it or not? Quick two minute thing. So we're a bit pushy at the time anyway. Yeah, stand in there. Steady, Adam. Oh, yeah, now we're diving in into a cave. <laughs> a little side quest. Oh, they're all so wet from all this freaking. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure you're going to get down here? Oh. <laughs> this is huge in here, isn't it? Oh my god, it's so slippy. Oh, we're getting drenched here. <gasps> Watch out, I'm some of this is like, it's just that ice that we've got. I'm going to shoot it. Oh, oh. Watch it, don't, watch, don't go too close behind me. Fuck, I'm staying here. Alright, alright, alright. <laughs> Lewis has stayed back, it is like ice. Yeah. Right, if you want to stay there, that's fine. You probably can't see that while on camera because it's such a big room, is this? It's huge. 20 foot high, at least. Look at that, I think this is probably an old quarry. It goes deep in here, doesn't it? In a minute, I'll get a picture on my phone and I'll put it in the video so everyone in the video can see what it looks like in here. It drops off like 50 foot. 50 foot? No, it doesn't. No, not really. <laughs> you little liar. It's weird, I think it is like a quarry, isn't it? There you go, I'm just gonna get a quick picture. Then we're gonna head out there because we need to hurry up, otherwise we're gonna be walking back in the dark. Oh, it's so wet. That's what she said. Oh, it's like a shower coming through that bit. So oh, oh it's, this bit's the worst bit. How do you get up this? Oh, I just pulled myself up, mate. Yeah, I gotta say, you can't get a sturdy foot on it, can you? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we go. Corner, fall. Don't, oh, Adam, be careful. <laughs> Don't fall on purpose. We reckon we've got about an hour till night time. We've got a fair way to yeah, go. Finally, we've pretty much got rid of the snow. Wow. It was absolutely freezing coming down there. That's why there wasn't much videoing because Adam's especially, and also my hands, absolutely freezing, stinging like mad, but we're pretty much out of it. But it does look like we are gonna be walking back in the dark, which isn't great. We are definitely going to be walking into the night. We've literally, we've only just come down from behind Adam all the way up there and now we've only just started on our return route and it's about probably just after quarter to four and it gets dark at four o'clock. So just up there, I 
pretty sure that rocky hill is Castle Crag and we were going to do it tomorrow but we're so close to it but also it's getting dark if we're a bit earlier we might as well just tick it off now but it is getting dark when it get back to the car so we might come do it tomorrow but that is the smallest wane right peaceful spot, so peaceful, there's no one else about here, just the sound of that river, absolutely amazing, but we need to get back to the car, if you can't already tell it's definitely getting dark, it probably looks pretty dark on the GoPro now and I reckon we're still a good two or three miles away from the car, but the good news is it's all flat walking from now, so let's get a move on. I a skimmer. Oh, you, you, you give me the privilege? Yeah, you do it. So Adam has carried this from nearly the top when we're coming down the snow, just near that little quarry. Because it's such a good skimmer, so I'm hoping I can give it the skim it deserves. So here oh, we go. Oh, I'm so nervous. <laughs> what if it goes wrong? Here we go. No! That was, that was shit! No! So as you can see, it is fully dark, so I think this is going to have to be the end of the vlog because you're not going to be able to see anything. And we're just following this road along for probably just under a mile, so it's nothing exciting. But overall, a really nice walk. Lovely up there with the little bit of snow covering. And we had quite a lot of sun for most of the walk. Just it did get pretty cold towards the end. But I'm going to get back to the car get into the hostel and have a few well-deserved drinks, I think. So that's going to be it for this video. If you did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like and drop a sub, and I'll see you in the next video.